Radhava Kunja Bihari Oh, 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Hare Rama Hare Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare Hare Rama Hare Rama Jai Om Vishnu Pada Paramahamsa Pari Raja Kacharya Ashtata Satishri Esi Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada Ki Jai Ananta Kota Vaishnavrinda Ki Jai Nama Acharya Srila Haridas Thakur Ki Jai Prem Sikaho Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadadhar, Sri Vasadi Gauravakta Vrindaki, Sri Sri Radha Krishna Gopa Gopinatha, Shamakunda, Radha Kunda, Giri Govardhan Ki, Sri Vrindavan Dham Ki, Sri Mayapur Dham Ki, Ganga Maya Ki, Jai. Yamuna Maya Ki, Jai. Tulasi Deva Ki, Jai. Bhakti Deva Ki, Jai. Samaveta Bhakta Vrinda Ki, Jai. Lord Chaitanya's Harinam Sankirtan Ki. Brihat Madanga Ki, Srila Prabhupada Ki, Shishi Gornitai Ki, Jai. Shri Shri Krishna Balaram Ki Shri Shri Radha Govinda Madhava Ki Numaya Purdam Ki Shri Balarama Purnima Ki Shri Balaram Jayanti Ki Go Premanandi Grantara Srimad Bhagavatam Ki 
All glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to the assembled devotees. Glories to Sri Guru and Garango. Glories to Sri Prabhupada. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Sarasvate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvasesha Sanyavadi Pasyachadesha Tarine Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadarhar Shri Vasadi Gauravakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Everybody up! Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Okay, one more time. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Okay, one more time. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Jai Shri Prabhupada. By the mercy of Lord Balaram, we can speak something. Um, the voice is whatever it is. Um, Lord Balaram's kindness, we may have a little strength to be able to... Can you hear me? Because my voice is not, um, let's say, very strong this morning. Um, and Lord Balram is the source of all of our strength. So we, but not material strength, it's also Lord Balram, but spiritual strength. So we hope that somehow or another we'll be able to speak something which will make us more, give us a little more eligibility to um, come to pure devotional service and enter into the kingdom of God and to return to the lotus feet of Radha and Krishna. So, okay, so I'm reading today from the, I'm not sure what Purana this is. It's the Prasadam Purana. Please repeat after me. me. Varuni, Varuni. Beverage, Beverage. For, for Lord Balaram. Oh, the wrong page, sorry. <laughs> okay, the secret of this is, if you want to please Lord Balaram, we got a bigger crowd today. This is only for a crowd of 50. 25 liters of milk. Note it down. 15 liters of yogurt. 3 liters of cream. 10 kilograms of runny honey. Runny honey. 3 kilograms of white sugar and one bottle of rose water. Now that's just a basic recipe. We can add all kinds of varieties to that to make it even more extraordinarily intoxicating. <laughs> intoxicating. Lord Balaram comes to this world to intoxicate us all. Yeah, and I don't know if anyone's making Varuni beverage today for Lord Balaram's pleasure, but normally that's on Balaram Ra isn't it uh, the, the Rasa Yatra of Lord Balaram? We make masses of Varuni beverage and we become intoxicated. But Lord Balaram's giving this opportunity for all of us to be intoxicated, but not just with liquor um, or intoxications of this world, but spiritual intoxication. So let me see now. No, this, can we put this flat, please? This is impractical. Thank you. Makes life easier. Um, I think I'll start. No, I think I'll start with um, a. We can't do it. Last year we had a PowerPoint presentation. Some of you were here, and uh, of course we can't do that this year because of we're out here, but. We'll try to, I've shortened it considerably with just a few of the, you could say, the pranams to Lord Baladev. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 
Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Jai Just turn the internet off a minute There's some internet interference Okay, some of you may be able to follow this. This is from Das Avatar Stotra, Jai Dev Goswami, the particular um, verse uh, glorifying Lord Balaram. Vahasiva Pushi Vishade Vasanam Jaladabam Halahati piti milita yamuna bum. Where's Balaram? Huh? There he goes. Bahasiva pushi vishade pasana jalata Halahati piti milita yamuna bum. You get the last line. You can repeat the last line, okay? Keshava Jita Haladara Rupa Jaya Jagadisha Hare Jaya Jagadisha Hare Jaya Jagadisha Hare All together. Keshava Jita Haladara Rupa Jaya Jagadisha Hare Jaya Jagadisha Hare Jaya Jagadisha Hare One more time Kesava Gita Haladara Rupa Jaya Jagadisha Hare Jaya Jagadish Hare Jaya Jagadish Hare Jaya Haladara Rupa Jaya Haladara Rupa Haladara Rupa Haladara Rupa Jaya Haladara Rupa Jaya Haladara Rupa Jaya Haladara Rupa Jaya Haladara Jaya Haladara Rupa Jaya Haladara Rupa Haladara Rupa Jaya Haladara Rupa Haladara Rupa Jaya Haladara Rupa Jaya Rohini Nandana Rohini Nandana Rohini Nandana, Rohini Nandana, Rohini Nandana, Rohini Nandana. Jabala Deva, Bala Deva, Bala Deva, Jaya Bala Deva. Baladev Ki Jai. Know this song. O Keshava, O Lord of the universe, O Lord Hari, who have assumed the form of plow wielding Balaram. All glorious to you on your brilliant white body. You wear garments colored like a fresh rain cloud. Is the French translation going on? Is it? Can you hear it? Okay. 
Are you okay, Olivier? Okay. I'm speaking okay. Lord Baram, his beautiful white form like camphor. So white. And his blue, but it's like the color of a fresh rain cloud, which we may not be able to visualize so much in the sense of the transcendental nature of this. It's just to give us an idea how beautiful Lord Balma is whiter than as much. We cannot, we cannot visualize the whiteness of Lord Balma's color as we know it. Krishna, everything expands from Krishna, but Krishna is like his second body, first expansion, whatever. And his Prabhupada writes that practically the difference between Balaram and Krishna is that Krishna is blackish. Again, <coughs> words, how can we describe <coughs> such a form in such a plain word? It's um, unlimited beyond mundane conception, but just some idea, beautiful, the, the color of a dark monsoon cloud and Baram's form whiter than milk, camphor. Extraordinarily beautiful. Everything about the form of Lord Balaram is unlimitedly beautiful. <laughs> Not like the forms of this world. It's funny, in this world, white people try to go brown, <laughs> and brown people try to go white. Isn't it weird? <laughs> Strange, huh? We're never satisfied with what we've got in this world because we don't have the real satisfaction, which is made available by Lord Balaram. Oh, thank you very much. I wish I could put it on prop, but I'm thinking that maybe he's cold. On Prabhupada, well, I would, but I don't know what, if you put another cheddar on him already. Socks. Socks should be there for sure. That's why I said I said hat earlier on, but no hat came. Like in winter. Yeah, it's like a, uh, it's like, well, it's I don't know about winter. You've not been in New Mayapur in winter, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, if, if it's possible, it will be one because Shri Prabhupada is, you know is really the presence of Lord Balaram. Um, he's our guru. Lord Balaram, as we all know, is the Adi Guru, original guru, who gives his mercy through Srila Prabhupada, through the Acharyas. The pure devotees of the Lord are simply representatives of Lord Balaram. There's a picture, you won't be able to see it, I wish we could see it. There's a picture of Lord Balaram. And uh, some of the front ones can see it. Oh, there's another picture of Lord. See, I've got him on my computer. <laughs> there he is with his plow. It looks more like the thing they're using over here to hack the ground. And his eyes are red and rolling. He's intoxicated. And he's dragging us. When Lord Balaam gets intoxicated, just like devotees, when they get intoxicated on Sankatan, they drag everybody in. So he's even dragging Yamuna there with his, with his plow. Something's happening back here. What's happening? Oh, well, someone's there. Okay. I thought it was Lord Balaram or something behind there with his plow. And he's dragging us off the stage. Enough, enough. So... He wears garments colored like a fresh rain cloud. And the river Yamuna, whom you frighten with the blows of your plow. Hmm. That's just a little verse there by Jayadev Goswami from Dasavatar Stotra. Beautiful verse. And the pastimes of Lord Balaram are unlimited. As we hear a few of them in the Srimad Bhagavatam, and here and there you could read more in 
many scriptures given to us. We find pastimes of Lord Bala, I mean, many scriptures, Gopur, Champu, Harivam, Purana, Ananda Vindavan, Champu, and so on and so forth. And the commentaries of Aracharyas describe some of some more pastimes. But there are so many, unlimited. Wonderful. Lord Balaram. Uh, just now a few obeisances to Lord Balaram. Namaste Halalagraha, Namaste Musala Yudha, Namaste Revitina, Revatikanta, Namaste Bhaktavatsala, Namaste Darini Dara, Namaste Balanam Shrestha, Palambare Namaste Stu, Ehimam Krishna Purvaja. This is from, well, I don't know where it's originally from, but this you'll find those who worship Balaram, if you're worshiping Krishna Balaram, you'll know this verse because this is from the Pancharatra Padeep, the Iskand Deity Worship uh, book. Here's the Balade Pranam. Obeisances to you, O holder of the plow. Obeisances to you, O wielder of the mace. So these are the two primary weapons which Lord Balaram uses in his pastimes. Obeisances to you, O darling of Revati. As you may know, Lord Balaram has two consorts, and here's one of them, Revati. And who knows who the other consort is? Pardon? Yes, I mentioned her earlier. Uh, yes, uh, she also has a, you know, it's not that she's just a pot of, you know, sweet liquor. Um, but she has, of course, a personified form which is suitable for interacting with Lord Balaram in his wonderful pastimes. And that's one of them, is liquor. So, Revati. We have, where's Ravati? How many Ravatis do we have here today? Where's your mum? Janavi, where's mum? Is she there? There's one Ravati. And there's another Ravati. We have another. The Ravati is our dear friend from Germany. But we have another Ravati, don't we? Where is she? Pardon? Adi Shekhar's daughter is Revati. Sundar Gopal's daughter is Revati. We have a lot of Revatis here today. And we have Revati Nandan. Whereas he's around, he was on the stage just now. I think he was, maybe he was. So Revati, very interesting, huh? Oh, Balaram gets his wives. Very special. Well, if we, 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 the story of Varuni is quite famous. We don't hear much about the story of Revati in the Srimad Bhagavatam, not much. But in Gopal Champu we can hear the story of how Lord Balaram is alright, he's not going to hurt you. He's come for the class. Are you scared of what, a spider? Cockroach? You're joking. Cockroach. I've not seen a cockroach at New Mayapur. Anyway, whatever it is. Maybe one of Lord Balaram's associates has appeared in a form you cannot recognize. So, you know, huh? You know, the story of Ravati is very interesting. You know, there was, we're going back a few yugas, you know. In fact, 27 chapter yugas, that's a long time. You know, Chapter Yuga is like, what is that, four million years or something? Four million three hundred thousand years. So multiply that by 27, plus a bit more for this one. And at that time there was a King Kukudma, Kukudmi, King Kukudmi. He was a, a great devotee and a great king, very powerful. And he had a daughter named Revati. And... Uh, she was 
Um, very beautiful, extremely beautiful, even more beautiful than you. You can't believe it. <laughs> Someone more beautiful than me? How is that possible? Huh? What's happening now? Chudders are coming around all over the place. <laughs> yeah, she was extraordinarily beautiful, Miss Universe. And uh, there was no one qualified. So her father, King Kukutmi, was, he had a few candidates, but you know, they were, he wasn't sure. So he went, he decided he would go and check it out with Lord Brahma. Brahma. You know, Brahma is very good at uh, deciding, you know, in, in Vedic society, there's a matchmakers, you know, they don't just have astrologers, they have matchmakers. <laughs> so uh, he went to Lord Brahma to, you know, confirm a suitable match for his beautiful daughter. So when he arrived in Satyaloka, Lord Brahma was busy. You can imagine how busy he is. He's, the, he's, he's the, like, you know, he's managing the universe, basically. Right? Can you imagine? He's even busier than managing New Mayapur. <laughs> Can you imagine that, Gandharaka? She can't imagine anything, anything more than that. Now, she is so busy, I'll tell you. Incredible. Around the clock. By the way, she's the daughter of Sita, who made the announcement just now regarding the Guru-Disciple course. She's a daughter of a um, family there, um, Godamandal Prabhu Sita, and, and other. What? She's so busy, so busy managing this temple with others, that you can imagine how Lord Balaram is. Lord Brahma. How busy Lord Brahma is. So when, obviously he was very busy there. You could have mobile phones everywhere. You know, computers, millions of people on computers everywhere, right? Got to organize this, organize that. Phone calls, oh, emergencies, this thing, that thing. Whatever. So many things going on. So what's Lord Brahma doing? What's he doing? He's sitting there. And what's he doing? He's watching a dance. The Gandharvas are doing a dance. And he's very busy watching it. And the universe goes on. Even you see in the Bhagavatam, there's one chapter, universal management. Universal. You know how many verses there are in that chapter? Twelve. <laughs> Twelve or fourteen. Universal management, bass. <laughs> Krishna arranges everything. He doesn't have to, through various agencies. But Lord Brahma was also entertained, being entertained. And he, he had to wait. King Kukudmi had to wait a few minutes. He said, I'm no, sorry. He had to wait a little while. And then, how can I help you? And then the king explained what his mission was. I'm looking for a suitable husband for my beautiful daughter. Every king has to do that. So Lord Brahma said, okay, anyone in mind? He said, yeah, did, 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 did. he gave a list, short list, you know. He said, well, I'm, <coughs> I'm a little sorry to inform you, but, you know, a little time has passed on the Earth's planet, because he was from Earth. Since the time when you left the Earth, 27 you know, chapter yugas have passed, uh, which is, you know, 274. That's over, uh, that's over a hundred million years have passed since you were last there. And everyone's passed on. All these people are gone, dead and gone. Your family are dead and gone. <laughs> oh, no. He, he was, oh, oh, my goodness. He didn't realize. He was only there for a few moments, a few minutes or whatever. But already everyone's dead and gone. His time is very relative. And we're caught up in our little worlds of time. But uh, I said, well, what to do? What will I do now? And uh, Lord Brahma said, actually, if you go back quickly now, you'll be in luck. Here's your lucky day. Lord Balaram is now present on the earth. He is a suitable 
husband for your wife, but go quickly. So he quickly came back to the earth planet and arrived there, surprisingly enough. And Krishna, well, even Krishna was there, he said, a suitable candidate for it. Neither Krishna nor Balaram were married. Actually, Balaram got married before Krishna. So at this time, they were somewhere near the Raivataka mountain because that's Raivati is a, and the Raivata is the king is another name of King Kukutni, and so they met Krishna there and, and uh, said, "This is a candidate. This is a suitable candidate for your elder brother." Of course, Balaram is also Dauji's elder brother of Krishna, so suitable candidate, but. Uh, She was like a giant. Can you imagine if some of you young men are getting married? And, uh, you know, you're, because you don't arrange marriage as much these days, but, but uh, if it was an arranged marriage and your wife is like 30 foot tall <laughs> and weighs 500 kilos, <laughs> would you be very enthused? <laughs> what do you think? Oh, from the wife's point of view, if your husband was like one foot, one foot tall and <laughs> weighed five kilos or so. <laughs> it would be rather incompatible arrangement. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, you know. Everything will be like. Lord Balaam assured them that, you know, when they came, they were shocked to see that everyone was so tiny because they were from previous chapter yuga, but it was such a yuga. So they were so tiny. People in this Kali Yuga are so tiny. They're like midgets. Said, Don't worry. The Lord will arrange everything for you. Don't worry. So they came down and sure enough made this arrangement. And Lord Balaram with his plow, he just put the plow there and whoop, and pulled her down to the right size, suitable for this planet at that time. And so gloriously they, they became um, husband and wife. And the other wife, Varuni, a wonderful pastime, huh? when Lord Balaram, of course, Balaram, Krishna and Balaram had externally at least appeared to have left Vrindavan, and they were residing in Dwarka. So at one point of time, Lord Balaram was eager to return to Vrindavan, and another arrangement there. So he returned to Vrindavan and spent two months there in Vrindavan. And with the residents of Vrindavan, were very, very ecstatic to, for Lord Balaram to be there. And uh, especially there whilst he was in Vrindavan, besides consoling all the residents and having a relationship with his parents, Lord Balaram has two mothers, as you may know, he appeared in the womb of Devaki. And we'll read that in a minute, so we won't get it. But he had two mothers. But Rohini was his, etern his eternal mother, just like Yasoda is the eternal mother of Krishna. Rohini is the eternal mother of Balaram. So he consoled them all in whatever way he could. And then particularly, he had um, every night he was having Rasalila. Not with the gopis that Krishna was having Rasalila with. He has his own set of gopis, different ones than the ones who perform the Rasalila during Krishna's time. And it's particularly amongst those uh, gopis, his special gopis, many were um, daughters of, strangely enough, but they were like uh, daughters of the, the, the snakes, snake girls. Imagine having a, a wife, boys, uh, <laughs> snake. This is my, I'd like to introduce you to my wife. <laughs> and no, they weren't exactly in snake forms, but uh, they, they had, of course, beautiful human forms, but they desired this. They, of course, Lord Balaram is also an antishesh, one of his expansions, and, and uh, many like that. They were daughters of, of, the, of the snake kings and so on. So they were having pastimes with Lord every night in the Rasalila. 
and uh, they go to Ramagat. If you've been on Brajmandal Parikrama, upstream from Vrindavan, some distance is Ramagat. And if you go there, how many of you have been to Ramagat? Who's been to Ramagat? Come on. Put your hands up if you've been to Ramagat. Or put your snake hoods up, whatever you've got there. About half a dozen only, my goodness. Wow. Not many. Well, even today, maybe it's a bit of a fundraising program, but you'll see many people there with snakes. I mean, today I don't know, but I mean, the times I've been there. And they have, you know, baskets and snakes are coming out. And, you know, you're supposed to give money, otherwise, you know, you might get bitten by the snake or something. But uh, there isn't a lot of snakes. Snakes are there. Um, because it's the place where Lord Bahram performs his Rasa dance. And uh, they're every night. And whilst he was there, um, of course, Varuna and his daughter Varuni, they wanted to serve Lord Balaram. So Varuni appeared. How did she appear? How did she appear? Hmm? How did she appear, Varuni? Huh? Pardon? Yes, she appeared. I don't know. <laughs> How did she appear? Anyone here named Varuni? Liquor. Ah, liquor, liquor, yes. Ooh, oozing out of the trees. Eh? The champak tree, huh? Out of the champak tree out came this, you know, what do you call it? The sap liquor coming out of the tree, you know. And, uh, hmm, the scent of that nectar. You know, just like a drunkard. Perhaps some of you are drunkards. <laughs> you know, you get the scent. You ever see a drunkard? They get the scent of the liquor. Yeah. Irresistible. <laughs> Drawn in there. You know, so it, it was to track. Baram started to take that liquor, the Varuni beverage. It was filled up I'm going to be a pot. A Varuni beverage. I mean, we have another. We'll be doing a drama later on, I think, where Varuni will appear again, but not in this particular one. So he's drinking the liquor, and Lord Balram is getting excited. Naturally, it's intensifying the transcendental pastimes. It's not like the liquor of this material world. We may think, hey, now I've got authorization, not only from Lord Shiva, but from Lord Balram. I can uh, enjoy myself, huh? Acharya? Yes. Bring the liquor. We see this with Lord Nityananda also. He sometimes calls out like this. Bring the liquor. <laughs> so he was in, ex it was increasing the ecstatic emotions and the loving relationship, accepting the service of a Varuni, who is considered to be, he accepts her as his wife. Of course, in more than just a liquor form, but in a personified form. So they're enjoying their pastimes like anything there at Ramagat on the banks of the river Jamuna. And it was a little dis distance away, actually, a little distance. They're in the forest, they're enjoying their pastimes. And Bahram said, hey, Jamuna. Anyone named Jamuna? <laughs> I'm not going to do it, don't worry. No, I'm not allowed to do that. Hey, Jamuna, come here. Come here, Jamuna. Come here. His eyes are rolling. Jamuna thinks this man is intoxicated. I'm not going. Come here, Jamona. Still, she wouldn't come. And uh, Bahram became angry. He picked up his plow and he went, Come here, I'll pull you! And he pulled the Jamona with his plow. Come on. And therefore, many tributaries are there in the Jamuna River, which were 
the result of Balaram pulling Jamuna with his plow. Jamuna became very afraid, realizing, ah! and she appeared as Kalindi in her personified form, praying for mercy, for the forgiveness of Lord Balaram. And all was solved. Lord Balaram. Here's another one. Oh, what is this? This is different. I've got no particular order by the looks of it. Anyway, whatever we talk about, Balaram hopefully will remind us of him. As long as one has to accept a material body with its different parts and paraphernalia which are not fully under one's control, one must have the lotus feet of his superiors, namely his spiritual master and the spiritual master's predecessors. By their mercy, one can sharpen the sword of knowledge and with the power of the Supreme Personality of Godhead's mercy, one must then conquer the enemies mentioned above. The enemies um, of lust and greed and anger and envy and illusion and madness can be conquered by the mercy, the power, the mercy of the Personality of Godhead. We cannot conquer them. In this way, the devotee should be able to merge into his own transcendental bliss, and then he may give up his body and resume his spiritual identity. Significant, that was a verse from the seventh canto of Bhagavatam. Significant in this verse are the words jnana sim achuta balaha. Jnana sim, the sword of knowledge, is given by Krishna. And when one serves the guru, and Krishna, in order to hold the sword of Krishna's instructions, Balaram gives one strength. Balaram is Nityananda. Brajendra Nanda Najay, Sachi Sutta Haila Sei, Balaram Ahuila Nitayuri. This Bala. Balaram comes with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and both of them are so merciful that in this age of Kali one may very easily take shelter of their lotus feet. They come especially to deliver the fallen souls of this age. Papita tapiyata chila hurinam udarila their weapon is Sankirtan, Harinam Sankirtan. Oh. Hari Bo! Hari Bo! And Hari Ram! Hari Ram! Ram. says that, doesn't he? Rama, when we chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. When we say Rama, who are we referring to? Huh? Balaram? Ramachandra? Huh? Radharaman? It's confusing. Parasharam, you got it. It's Parasharam. In one sense, she has to cut out our pride. Parashram smashed the pride of the Kshatriyas. Now all of them are there. They're all there. And we chant Ram. They've had enough. Thus, one should accept the sword of knowledge from Krishna and be strong with the mercy of Balaram. We are therefore worshipping Krishna Balaram in Uh-huh. Vrindavan. What Prabhupada said. So if you remain strong in your spiritual activities, these Agasura, we just don't have time, I'm afraid to. This is the introduction. These Agasura, Bakasura, these are demons, you may have heard of them in Krishna book. They will come and they will go. I don't expect we're going to, you know, demons will come, but they'll go also if we ha remain strong in our spiritual life. 
but we should take precaution and counteract to reduce them. Real strength will remain from Krishna Balaram's strength. Balaram. Balaram means strength. Not that type of strength. Nayam Atma Balahina If you are not supported by Balaram, then it is not possible. So we have got our Balaram, Krishna Balaram Temple. Now, this is Prabhupada, this is Prabhupada's conversation. Now, in Europe, we have got Krishna Balaram, Gopal Krishna. In France? Yes. In France. Spurda malakiritam kinkini kankanaram Chilalala kakopalam kundala shri mukabjam Tuhin giri manogyam nila megam varadyam Halamusala vishalam kamapalam samide I glorify Lord Balaram, decorated with a glittering crown, bracelets, tinkling ornaments, moving locks of hair on his cheeks, splendid earrings on his handsome lotus face, and garments dark blue like monsoon clouds, holding a great club and a plough, fulfilling all desires and handsome like a mountain of ice and snow. I don't know where that's from. I haven't got a reference. Somewhere. And one verse from the thousand names of Balaram. We're not going to read all the thousand names of Balaram, don't worry. <laughs> we'll be here till midday. Om Balabhadra Ramabhadra Ramakshankar Shanochutaha Revati Ramano Deva Kamapalo Halu Alayudaha Lord Balaram Om Lord Balaram is supremely powerful and happy uh, therefore he's known as Balabhadra the supreme enjoyer he's known as Ramabhadra and Rama all attractive Sankarshana anyway different different names Achuta, infallible. He was known as Sankarsana because why was he known as Sankarsana? Doesn't mention it here, but why was he known as Sankarsana? Who knows? Pardon? He's original, yes, he's also very original. <laughs> you can't imitate him. Why is he known as Sankarsana? Yeah, we have Vasudev, Sankarsana, Bajumna, and Aniruddha. But there's another reason too. Brings auspiciousness, okay. But specifically, Gargacharya mentions, you can read this in the Bhagavatam also, it's in Garga Samhita, different places. The pastime of, you know, Balaram, and what is his special? Uh, situation that he unites, he brings the together the the different dynasties, the Yadu dynasty of uh, which of course Krishna is in, Vasudev Devaki, but he's in the dynasty brings them together. Nanda Maharaj was also born mixed 